warned you about this. This Ukraine rabbit hole is about to get deeper and deeper and have a huge impact on America. You're going to want to listen to this entire segment because the creeping gradualism that I said from day one is rearing its head. Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin, with his face mask, warned Congress during a private briefing that if they do not pass more aid to Ukraine, that they're very likely will lead to U.S. troops on the ground in Europe defending NATO allies and other countries and Russia, and may, they may be next targets. They didn't tell us they wouldn't send troops, folks. Like, this is kind of like when they say, oh, we won't send F-16s. Then they did. Kind of like when they said, oh, we're not going to send long-range missiles. Then they did. It's like I warned you from day one that this was going to be a possibility. Former Green Beret and Virginia congressional candidate Derek Anderson and retired U.S. Army Lieutenant Colonel Tony Schaefer join me now. All right, Derek, this is the creeping gradualism. You know it. You've been in the military. It's the same thing. The Senate, though, just blocked a Ukraine bill, an aid bill for Ukraine. What do you make of all this? Yeah, Carl, thanks for having me. And, you know, know, as someone who served in the military yourself, you understand this. Uh, I think it's pretty blatantly disrespectful and ridiculous that Secretary Austin is essentially uh, trying to use our service members as a political tool, essentially saying, hey, we're willing to send our service members over to die in Ukraine if you don't give us money. I mean, that's what he's generally saying. And look, you you mentioned this again earlier, Carl, about uh, the type in the, in the style of weapon systems that we're sending over. Congress just wants accountability, transparency, and an end state here. But, you know, in the very beginning of uh, the Ukraine conflict, we were sending over the wrong types of equipment. You remember we were sending over the switchblade, but we were sending over the wrong kind of switchblade. That was an anti-personnel switchblade rather than anti-tank uh, uh, switchblade. So uh, another another issue uh, that I think we need to definitely be cognizant of, and we saw this happen in Syria and in Afghanistan, is the tracking of our weapon systems that we're sending over there, right? Uh, what we saw it happen in Syria uh, as we were giving weapon systems, equipment, yeah. and then they were disappearing off well, the battlefield. So again, I think Congress just wants some accountability and transparency. But Tony, that's the problem from day yeah. one. And uh, it's been, hey, this is how much money we're giving, and that's the metric of success. Biden was out insisting, listen to this, more funding must be passed? Can it's insane. Help? And Congress needs to pass supplemental funding for Ukraine, before they break for the holiday resources. Simple as that. For what? I mean, what's the money going to? That's the point. Uh, we've spent $113 billion. And I'm sorry, Carl, our uh, funding uh, family theater in Kiev uh, and paying for their civil service is not in our interest, nor right. is that a military imperative. Uh, and then as to the point, it's like the military systems we sent over there have been ineffective. Mm-hmm. They're throwing things out there and hoping for the best. Well, hope is not a strategy. Carl, you and I have been in the military. We've all been in the military. Yeah. Hope is not a, 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 a in the training manual. Tony, And what is worse here is that now they're coming back for more money. Right. They've had Yellen sending letters. They've had Austin over there begging. And yet there's Tony, no Tony, I want to interrupt you no real quick. On, do it. I want to stay with you on this one, Tony. Ukraine now is claiming that it killed a, quote, traitor. It's an ex member of parliament, Ilya Kiev or something, in in Russia. Now, a spokesman for Ukraine's military intelligence told Ukrainian TV, quote, yes, we can confirm Kiev is no more. This fate will befall other traitors of Ukraine and puppets of Putin's regime. Do not give these people another penny as far as I'm concerned. They just assassinated a former member of parliament. Right. There's no uh, chivalry. There's no idea here. It's desperation. Yeah. And the more we get pulled into this, the more the potential is, as Austin threatened, mm-hmm. to have our ground troops in there with no clear idea of how to win. Exactly. Carl, that's the issue. Nobody can tell anybody a strategy of how to win. Right. There's no path forward. Derek, I got 30 seconds left. What do you say? Yeah, I mean, we, we just need to be careful. We always need to evaluate. We did we did this in the in the military all the time, right? Uh, we don't we don't fire first and then aim later, right? We need to keep evaluating this situation to see uh, what what this funding is absolutely mm-hmm. for. Again, account- the, the yeah. moral of all this is accountability and transparency. That's what it is. Derek Anderson, you're running for Congress. Best of luck. Lieutenant Colonel Schaefer, appreciate being here. All right, coming up, it seems like the people...